क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव द डायग्राम शूज द पार्ट ऑफ द कर्व वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्केर कॉस थ्री एक्स दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ द कर्व वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्केयर कॉस थ्री एक्स फॉर द इंटरवल जीरो टू वाई बाई सिक्स एंड इट्स मैक्सिमम पॉइंट एम वेयर एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए part a of this question show that a satisfy the equation a is equal to 1 over 3 tan inverse 2 over 3a this is a, a curve for x between 0 to pi by 6 maximum point is m at x is equal to a we have to show that a satisfy the equation a is equal to 1 over 3 tan inverse 2 over 3 so, so far maximum point m uh, we know that gradient will be zero so this part of the question is of differentiation as a whole this question is of numerical solution of equation because in the part b there lies a uh, The concept of numerical solution of equation, because we use an iterative formula based on the equation in a part to determine a correct to two decimal places. Give the result of each iteration to four decimal places. So we can say that this these are two parts. First part a is of differentiation. Second part is of numerical solution of equation. So so far. Uh, maximum point is m for maximum point gradient will be 0 d by over dx is equal to 0 we are using this concept and this is the equation of the curve y is equal to x square cos 3x we will differentiate this equation with respect to x to find d by over dx y is equal to x square cos 3x there are two functions product of y is equal to product of two functions x square cos 3x so we use here product rule to differentiate this is product rule y is equal to u into v u and v are if two functions of x Uh, d by over d x will be u v dash plus v u dash. Here u dash and v dash are differentiation with respect to x. And u dash means d u over d x. V dash means d v over d x. This is product rule. Uh, we are using uh, here in the question this rule product rule to find d by over d x. We are taking x square as u cos 3x uh, v function. So differentiating, we get d by over dx. X square remains same. Differentiation of cos 3x that is minus 3 uh, sin 3x plus cos 3x remains same, and differentiation of x square is 2x. We will write it in bracket. Uh, now d y over d x uh, is equal to zero for maximum point. So d y over d x, we are putting this is equal to zero. We get minus three x square sine three x plus two x cos three x is equal to zero. Taking x as a common because x is common in both the terms minus within bracket minus three x sine three x plus two cos three x is equal to zero. Uh, 
we have to find mm. the x coordinate of this maximum point that is represented by a so this means that product of x and uh, this factor is equal to 0 this shows that either x is equal to 0 or this factor is equal to 0 so minus 3x sine 3x plus 2 cos 3x is equal to 0 but this value is not applicable x is not equal to uh, 0 because the value of a cannot be 0 because a is the value of x so for uh, x coordinate of maximum point that is represented by a it cannot be 0 so this is not applicable x is not x is equal to 0 we are not taking this not applicable so we will find uh, x, the value of x from here rearranging this 3x sin 3x is equal to 2 cos 3x by cross multiplying process we can write sin 3x over cos 3x is equal to uh, 2 over 3x sin 3x over cos 3x that becomes uh, tan 3x is equal to over 3x from here 3x is equal to tan inverse 2 over 3x x is equal to 1 over 3 tan inverse 2 over 3x now it is given that x coordinate that is represented by a so we replace the variable x by a so a become at x is equal to a a is equal to 1 over 3 tan inverse 2 over 3a this is a required result we have to uh, show this is a required result no part b of this question which is of numerical solution of equation use an iterative formula based on the equation in part a this is the equation in part a to determine a correct to two decimal places give the result of each iteration to four decimal places so, iterative formula from this equation will be Uh, iterative formula will be uh, on the left hand side we will write a n plus 1 is equal to 1 over 3 tan inverse 2 over 3 a n this is iterative formula now we will find different iterations correct to 4 decimal places and the final answer that is a we have to give the answer correct to two decimal places so first iteration will be and now we are taking a suitable value between 0 and 5 by 6 uh, so we are taking a first iteration as 0 0.4 first iteration is represented by a1 so, so first iteration we are taking a1 that is 0. 4 uh, you can take other than that uh, value also 0 you can take 0 0.45 0 0.42 0 0.44 you can take the first iteration we are taking a1 that is 0 0.4 now we will find a2 to find a2 we are putting uh, n is equal to 1 then we can get a2 
on the right side uh, we have uh, uh, we also put n is equal to 1 here it becomes a1 a1 we have already supposed 0.4 so a2 will be second iteration will be 1 over 3 tan inverse 2 over 3 a1 now putting the value of a1 that is 0.4 here we get a2 is equal to 1 over 3 tan inverse 2 over 3 into 0 0.4 now to calculate this uh, first you set your calculator mode on radian uh, we get uh, I, the value of iteration correct to 4 decimal places that is 0 0.3435 this is a2 second iteration now we will find a3 a3 will be 1 over 3 10 inverse 2 over 3 a2 the value of a2 is 0 0.3435 uh, uh, 0.3435 after calculation uh, we get this we have to four decimal places answer is 0 0.3650 now we find a 4 1 over 3 10 inverse 2 over 3 into a3 the value of a3 is 0 0.3650 0 0.3650 after calculation uh, the answer will be up to four decimal places 0 0.3566 now we have to find the next citation because uh, converging is not taking place because uh, two decimal places I, the answer of this um, iteration a3 is different from iteration and the um, from the answer of a4 so we have to take the next iteration a5 1 over 3 tan inverse 2 over 3 a4 that is 0 0.3566 after calculation uh, we get uh, 0 0.3599 Nine. Now converging is taking place here because zero point the answer of zero uh, a four is point three five six six. Correct to two decimal place the answer is point three six, and also the answer of a five correct to two decimal places is zero point three six. So we can say that converging is taking place hey, uh, place. Converging is taking place here. So from here, the final iteration is the answer. Correct to two decimal place. The answer is A is equal to 0 0.36.